Hey there, so today I'm going to show you a little illusion using nose and scar wax to make it look like the tip of your finger has been severed or cut off. Um, it's pretty quick and straightforward. Hopefully you get something from it and enjoy. So what you'll need for this makeup is some nose and scar wax. You'll need some spirit gum to apply the nose and scar wax. You'll need um, your either grease paints or skin illustrator palette. So um, I've got the effects palette here, which is basically all the blood tones and also the skin color palette as well. Um, what I'll be using predominantly is this palette here and um, mostly the skin tones as well as this sort of like um, kind of pinky fleshy tone down here. Obviously some brushes to apply those paints as well. You'll need some petroleum jelly to work with the wax um, to stop it from sticking. You'll need just some generic sculpting tools. Um, these are my kind of go-to tools. So flat spatula, just a regular makeup spatula, as well as this tool here with a sort of scoop and the point at one end. Uh, you'll need some alcohol to apply the paints. You'll need a mix of sponges. So I've got sort of a fine textured sponge here and then I've got a sort of medium textured sponge. You'll need some cotton tips to apply um, the glue. And then this is completely up to you. Um, I tend for this makeup at least not to use a lot of blood. So um, but just pick your favorite blood. This is um, Kensington Gore. Um, by Mold Life, and this is the Age Blood. Um, I have actually more than recently been uh, mixing bloods as well, so um, feel free to do that. Um, I've seen people use um, more of a kind of coagulated blood and then mix that in with a bit of the liquid blood as well, and that you know um, creates a really awesome effect as well. And that's it. So what you want to do is just get get a bit of spirit gum and kind of um, dab that sort of all around the tip of this finger. Um, go over your nail as well, your fingernail. And grab some nose and scar wax. And what you want to do with this, um, let's grab a bit of Vaseline so it doesn't stick, is um, just get sort of a ball of nose and scar wax and kind of um, stick it on the tip of your finger and kind of press down on it. Um, and what you want to do is keep pressing until you can sort of feel the top of your finger just here. Um, and so once you felt it, stop pressing and you should end up with something kind of like this. So it's just like a flat tip on top of your finger. And what you want to do now is um, grab these sort of excess edges sticking out the side and kind of pull them down um, and do that all the way around your finger um, and definitely remove any sort of excess scar wax as well and while you're doing this just kind of um, keep dipping your finger in a bit of petroleum jelly as well just to stop the wax sticking and what I normally do for this to sort of help with the illusion is um, also cover my um, fingernail on the other side as well. So that's what you want to do. As you've been going around and smoothing out the sides, sometimes you'll sort of notice that um, the edges um, or the corners of the cut here start to kind of round off slightly. If you've got something like this spatula or if you've got just um, a regular butter knife at home, get a bit of the Vaseline and kind of um, rub you know a decent amount of it on the surface of the spatula and um, what you want to do is sort of stick that on top of the kind of cut area and just sort of rub push down really gently in a kind of circular motion and what you notice is um, it starts to kind of um, you know flatten out the top of your finger again and give you a really nice kind of smooth um, surface as well So I'm relatively happy with that.
and what you can now do is um, just with the um, fine textured stipple sponges go in and kind of um, just dab over the top of that wax but very very lightly and what you want to do is just sort of remove some of the shine that's been created as you've gone around with um, the petroleum jelly and smooth the surface out so we want to create a little bit of texture again just to um, make sure that the um, skin illustrator sticks to the surface nicely so once you're happy with the um, final result of the wax you can go in and color it so um, I'm using the flesh tone skin illustrator palette and I'm going to just go in with a really soft kind of bristled brush like this a flat one um, and do sort of um, just faint washes so gradually build the color up So that's the finger there matched to my skin tone. Once you're happy with the tip of the finger, I like to go in and sort of create a little bit of texture in the end here, just to kind of give the illusion that there's like, um, you know, some meatiness inside the wound. So once you're happy with the texture on the inside of that wound, you can now go in with the um, rose adjuster color in the skin palette and add a bit of pink to the center of that wound. And then the final step for this is just adding some blood and the idea with this part is when you're applying the blood not to go too heavy so this is the final look of the severed fingertip using nose and scar wax and as you can see there that is just um, texture that I've made up by indenting the wax colouring it pink and then applying a little bit of blood at the very end and if you wanted to just to add to this effect you could actually create a sort of false tip um, of the finger as well and have that sit beside your hand as, as you're showing people this illusion but that's it there that's my um, severed fingertip using nose and scar wax Thanks for watching.